Hey guys, Mayman and G here, and this is my analysis and thoughts of Mario Kart 8. I'm talking about the demo because I got to play the demo today at GameStop, and it was actually pretty good. I really did enjoy it. it, it the controls were pretty spot on. It looked beautiful. It looked amazing, and there are no words to describe it. None. No words. I am so looking forward to getting the game. I pre-ordered it at GameStop already. It's paid in full, and I do look forward to Let's Play in the game on the 30th. I know a lot of others are going to be doing it too, but everyone's experiences are going to be different. Some are going to play single player. Others are going to play co-op. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I know many of you are going to be really excited to get in their hands on this game. Or the fact that the Wii U will be bundled with the game. So, yeah. Up first, you're seeing some screenshots of the game that I tried out. In the demo, you have access to all the characters, though in the actual game, you'll get access to like 17 or so, and you have to unlock everyone as you play. So, yeah, this is the character select for all 30 characters. I'm surprised that there aren't any other characters, but I am thankful that characters like Funky Kong, Queen Bee, and Wiggler are not in the game. Thank God. I And I'm happy Waluigi's there, too. Too bad he was excluded from Mario Kart 7 for reasons I don't even understand. Okay, next up, for the demo, they, you only get access to 8 tracks, which consist of Mario Kart Stadium, Mario Circuit, Sunshine Airport, Electrodrome, Water Park, Sweet Sweet Canyon, Toad Harbor, and Cloud Top Cruise. My personal favorite tracks are Electrodrome and Cloud Top Cruise. They are just truly amazing they're just simply extravagant if you went to try out the demo for yourself and gotten access to like playing some of these tracks it's just insane it is too much i can't even describe it there are no words for it i mean it and now the next screenshot just shows like the congratulations screen it's nothing fancy since every track that you try out is two laps long and it's at 100 cc it makes things a bit fair and appropriate too and the trophies, how they look, they look pretty cool. I really do like it. And they change depending on placement. If you get, like, first place in all tracks, you get a gold, second silver, and third bronze. Helps balance things out. Next screenshot showcases the customization where you can customize your carts. And, yeah, I apologize if I showed, like, Waluigi on his backside. I got it a bad time. So it's split into three categories. You have your cart, you have your wheel, and you have, I think, your glider. And this time around, they actually give you access to carts, to bikes, and I believe, like, ATVs, which is pretty nice. It provides a good balance, though skill players are going to be finding their signature style. There are many other carts you can unlock as you progress through the game. You need to do so by collecting coins, and the more coins you get, the more stuff you can unlock. And this other screenshot, which shows off Waluigi as usual, and the cart that I've chosen when I did it, it's a pretty nice touch. It really is. Now, on the tracks themselves, this is just a preview of Cloud Top Cruise, and I'm truly amazed at seeing how beautiful it is. It really is. They really pushed the graphical potential for it, and believe it or not, it was actually pretty fun. That and seeing you race like that in a beautiful, beautiful location is just extravagant. I keep saying it, but the graphics just truly, truly surprise me. And last but not least, I'm going to be showing you guys the touch screen for the Wii U tablet. It doesn't really show much. It just shows like two different options. Like in the middle, you see the horn thing. You just tap on it and it activates the horn. But when you press the button on the right, it shows you the racetrack and the placement. So that's a nice feature. Although I do feel that if you're using stuff like the controller or the Wii mode and nunchuck, you're not going to see it. Though I wonder if they'll be shown on the screen. So that's about it for mostly my thoughts on it. If I were to sum it up. I'm going to say that I am really excited for playing this game. I really am. It's going to be truly a delight to see, a delight to play. I am going to be doing 150cc on all the cups. I am good with Mario Kart. I have plenty of experience, and I know I'm going to be giving it my all in there and more. That, and I'm also going to be doing online races, which I hope to do it with you guys, because it's going to be a lot of fun. I really mean it. So that's about it for my video. My question of the day is... What character are you going to be most looking forward to playing in Mario Kart 8? For me, it's basically Mario and Waluigi. Yeah, I want to play Waluigi ever since he was excluded from Mario Kart 7. So this basically makes up for it. 
I hope to hear from your answers. I hope you guys are enjoying this. And if you did, please hit that like button. It does mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys on May 30th for more of Mario Kart 8. And as a small little update, Pokemon Wi-Fi battles are going to continue on as usual. And I'm also going to be showing off more Wonderful 101. I'm hoping to get more battles soon because I'm about to run out of footage to record. So yeah, if you haven't gotten a chance to battle me, please be sure to send me a PM, a message, and I'll make sure to get back to you. All right, that's about it. Thanks for watching. And on May 30th, you're going to see me race once again in Mario Kart 8. Peace.